Hello everyone, good morning. Once again, I am liking to welcome to my channel, you all. Please have a look. We are discussing for the four major points in writing talks 1 and talks 2, which can be able to judge your writing. So, have a look and stay with me. Your writing talks 1 and talks 2 will be judged. That means evaluated or assessed. These are the similar words that you should understand in four different categories as song a tax achievement tax achievement it is also called ta that means how much you understand about the topic and how you introduce your writing that matters from the first paragraph of your writing in tax one or tax two so when you are talking about or when you are writing about any topics if you have read the question once or twice and if you get some plan, if you generate some idea, then you, there is a high chances that your answer, your tax achievement will be good. If you could not understand the question and if you are giving the answer and that has not touched, no relation with the answer of the question, then your tax achievement will be poor. So always focus to read the question first and you have to write according to the demand of the questions that is called TA right so what do you understand tax achievement means the main theme or understanding of the question to explain or to paraphrase always remember okay next is called cohesion and cohesive cohesion and cohesive means you should write in a chronological order when you are writing in a chronological order or sequential order your answer can be meaningful right so what comes next what comes one after another if you are going to write like this cohesion the form the structure of writing should be very clear cohesive means also looks like similar to write in a better form better linguistic terms okay so that means what you learn it means to maintain the writing structure forms and linguistic terms should be very clear right c number is called lexical resources that means the vocabularies as you know English IELTS writing is a test of your use of vocabularies, similar words that is called synonyms. So always remember in your writing you should use a wide range of vocabularies. That means the words, okay, synonyms and connectives connectives means it's called linking words then you get proper answer right next thing is grammatical range and accuracy when you are describing about any particular topic or when you are making like a data explain when you do like writing a letter about the past you know history past activities present or future plan so you should always focus on the grammar that means the tense use of proper tenses okay so tenses means like you can say the past tense present tense and the future tense so one thing you should understand on which tense you are going to explain your answer that should be depending on the past 
present of future tense and the last okay what i want to tell you here these four categories of your writing is very very important to provide you high band score so for these things you should always focus what the question is asking to do and how to begin right then how to explain your answer and how to conclude so how to understand okay what do you understand with the question how do you introduce it how do you explain it and how do you conclude it that is the relation and that is very important because in writing is your art if you practice more good practice makes you perfect always think that everything is possible and writing is obviously awesome that habits to generate ideas to produce different knowledge regarding the topic in a topic in task 1 of ielts or task 2 of ielts in task 2 writing essay in task 1 either writing letter for gt or analysis of the data for writing task 1 in academic thank you for watching and now we go for the next